Hello and welcome back to Improve Your English with me. In today's video we are going to learn five expressions to sound super British. If you are living the UK, then this video could be really useful to help you understand British people. Also, if you enjoy British films or TV series, this can be really helpful. I believe this video will help you start to change your mindset from just being an English student to being a confident English speaker. Okay, let's start. Let's being with greetings. When you meet someone the most common greeting, it's obviously, hello. Now, another very colloquial way of saying hello is, all right, and it's a bit like question. And the answer it's exactly the same. All right, it's easy, isn't? It's just the British way of saying hello. When a Brit asks, you all right? You can answer with, all right, thank you. Let's move on. So, next let's look at inviting. So, typically if you want to invite someone in British, you would say, would you like a, and you mention something. For example, would you like a coffee? Would you like a cup of tea? Would you like a piece of cake? British people use that, but they also use the word fancy. Do you fancy a coffee? Do you fancy a cup of tea? Do you fancy a piece of cake? What's interesting is British people often don't say the words, do you? They just say, fancy a coffee, fancy a cup of tea. For this one, the most common British way for offering someone a cup of tea is fancy a cuppa, fancy a piece of cake. Now, fancy moving on. Let's move on. Let's talk about describing something that is easy. So, if something is easy, simple and not problematic, of course, you say, it's easy. You can also say, it a piece of cake. For instance, the driving test was easy. British people say, it's a doddle. Can you say that? For example, the driving test was a doddle. This car is ready easy and comfortable to drive. It is a really doddle to use. This computer is really simple. It is a doddle. The fourth expression is, I am knackered. This word has a funny spelling. It doesn't really sound how it's spelt. But that's kind of what most of the English language seems to be like. Anyway, knackered means... I am tired but it means, I am really tired, I am exhausted, I need to take some rest. For example, she was too knackered to join him for the dinner. He was absolutely knackered at the end of the match. So, if you said, I am knackered this would score you a lot of points with English speakers. Because, they will be amazed that you know this word. So, when you're speaking with a British person and you're feeling tired, tell them that you're feeling knackered. It's a good one. Number five, and it's the last one for this video. I think you might have heard this before. It is, it's not my cup of tea. It is a nice way to say, you don't like something, to avoid being rude, to be more polite. You could say, oh, I would love to come and see the film with you. But, you know, horror films, not really my cup of tea. Much more polite than saying, oh, horror films, I hate them, horrible, I don't watch any. No, I'm not coming. Instead of that, try to say, sorry, it's not really my cup of tea. But... Thank you for asking. Now, this is the end of this video. I hope you have learned from it. As I said at the beginning of the video, these expressions are really useful for you. If you like to travel or you like British English, there could be all kinds of reasons why you might need to know these phrases. 
If you have any questions, please leave me comments in the comments section below. And if you like the video, share it and subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching.